the Temple of Horus at Edfu. The Temple of Edfu lies between Aksa and Aswan. It is dedicated to Horus, the elder, the conqueror of Seth, an avenger of his father, Osiris. This is one of the most well-preserved of the temples in Egypt. There is hardly any defacement of the statues. The portal leading to the temple is flanked by huge crowned falcons carved out of granite. When you stand near them, you feel as if you have reduced considerably in size. The falcon is a chief symbol of Horus. The falcon strikes in silence without warning and with incredible swiftness and carries its prey right into the eye of the sun. This symbolization is represented in Horus. He was born of Osiris, but yet he was older than his father. He avenged his father's murder by Seth. Seth represents a temporal, the earthly principle ruled by time. It also represents the imprisonment of spirit by matter. As you enter the courtyard, you see beautiful floral columns. There is a huge number of statues representing ceremonial offerings to the gods. The inner sanctorum possibly contained an effigy of Horus made in gold. As with other temples, light for the sanctum, sanctum sanctorum comes from apertures in the ceiling. All along the western corridor we find reliefs depicting the battle of Horus with Seth, who takes on the form of a hippopotamus. The animal is tiny at first, but keeps growing in size till it becomes huge. Horus is helped by his mother Isis, who steadies his arm as he throws the harpoon at the hippopotamus. After seeing so many defaced statues, it was great to be able to see a temple in which everything was preserved in its inherent beauty.